Hi everyone, it is Sophia, and today I am doing my everyday, everyday, basically what I do when I do my makeup, makeup tutorial. And you may notice, one, my hair is different. Yes, I cut it myself. And honestly, I don't regret it at all. I love it. And I changed my part, so I'm just a whole new person now, basically. Anyway, another thing before we start this video, I just wanted to talk about something that I'm really excited about. So I just started my own, like, real company. This is what it is. It is called Camarda Crystals. And I basically make crystal jewelry and right now I only have two main things on the website and I'm featuring rose quartz crystals. It was kind of tied into February but it's March now so there will be more crystals coming soon that tie into March and things like that with spring but anyway I'm really excited and rose quartz has been a big like crystal in my life lately and I just felt like it was the best stone to start this company with. So basically what it is, is a company that is founded on the idea that crystals help to heal yourself. They have healing properties. You can read all about it on the website, but even if you don't believe in all of that, they're still really pretty and 10% of your purchase will go to a featured charity. So right now it's Samaritan's Purse, which you can read about on the website. I have their website linked, but basically I'm gonna be picking a charity to go with each crystal that I launch and 10% of your purchase will go towards that. So I really like that aspect because it's basically like the crystals heal you and then by, you know, purchasing your purchase, helps to heal others so I just really like that and it's nothing too crazy expensive it's just a cute little side hobby that I'm doing so don't feel like you have to go buy things or look at it I just wanted to mention it because I'm really excited about it and if you guys want to look at it you can and I'll link it below anyway let's just get started now I'm really excited to show you what I do with my everyday makeup because I do feel like it is a little different than what you've seen on my channel it's super like glowy and natural for me so I just hope you like it and let's go. All right guys, so sorry if my dog starts snoring, but I can't really control it. The first thing that I use is this MAC Fix Plus Coconut Spray. So I just spray this all over my face. And then after that, I let it soak in and I use this Corefessional by Benefit and it's the Radiant Pearl one. Um, I like this a lot because it helps you to not look so like matte and cakey. I put that pretty much everywhere. I always get lines like right here cause I'm like always smiling and laughing. My foundation will settle into that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It's in the shade Warm Nude. It's slightly too tan for me because I'm getting super pale, but it still matches. It's just not my exact color and I can't be bothered to get a lighter color when in a month I'm gonna be tan again, so it doesn't even matter. So I usually take like a pump and a half of this and I just put it pretty much everywhere, obviously. Sorry if my nails are like absolute trash and this doesn't really have full coverage it's more like medium to full yeah it's like very slightly too tan but it works so after that i use my tarte shape tape this is in the color light sand sorry if it's like super windy and you can hear people mowing their grass outside i have such a weird pattern of doing this but um this is just what works for me so now that we've done that, I just go in with my IT Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. It's like a translucent powder, and I just go in with like an e.l.f. brush like this. And the first thing I do is go right under my eyes so that it doesn't crease. And that already gets rid of like the extra brightness. Then I just go in in like the T-zone areas, just because that's the part that tends to get the most messed up. And then I'll go in with kind of like a bigger, more fluffy, all over powder brush. And I'll go into the same powder and just kind of go everywhere so it's not too tacky, mainly on my cheeks. What I like to do next is just go in with like a bronzer and I don't really go too hard on the contouring aspect of things, but I do kind of make like a dimension to the face. So what I use is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I just kind of go in with this big Eco Tools blush brush. I'm sure you guys have seen all of these things if you watch me already, but I just kind of go into that and I'll always start with my cheeks and I try to make like an imaginary line 
and go above that if that makes any sense. That's all I really do is just add like a bronzy glow. My brother's just slid a little thing under there. I don't even know what it is. Okay, so as you can see, this is just adding a nice dimension to the forehead. And that really messes up my hair, which is kind of annoying because I'm trying to change my part to a middle part. I just feel like it looks better on me, but my hair isn't like trained yet. So I'm trying not to really like mess with it. <laughs> anyway, that's so random. So what I do next is just go down the neck just so that it helps soften the foundation-y line. So what I do for like a nose contour is I just go in with a fluffy brush like this and basically add like a little shadow. And that's what I do when I don't feel like doing the nose contour, but I'll show you when I do do it. So how I do that is I go in with this Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and I go in with this color called Nudie and I take like an angled eyebrow brush like that and I'll basically draw lines. And then after that, I'll soften the lines. It like kind of works, but it's a little more soft than using like a cream or something like that. So I go in and I connect it to my outer eyebrow like that. And I know that's crazy, but it works. It looks stupid, I know. So then I go in and I kind of like soften it with the same brush and like just tap it off. And then I go in and kind of rub it down. Okay, so there's that. Then I go in with this brush again and I just kind of blend everything out that's still left. The last thing is I go again with the nudie color and basically go into the shadows of what my nose would be contour like. So basically I'll go in like here and just shadow it. Okay, so then very last, I just go in one more time and blend it out. After all the contouring and all that, I go in with this NARS blush. Um, I use this pretty much every day. It's kind of like my go-to color. It is in the shade Orgasm. Okay, I just go in with this Eco Tools brush. It's very similar to this one, except it's more of like a flat on the side and it's like a very nice peachy color. It's perfect for olive skin tones. Sometimes I'll take it across my nose, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. My favorite part after this is highlighting. My favorite highlight of all time, if you guys watch me, you know this, is from the Anastasia Glow Kit. It's in the color Summer and it's this top one. Sometimes I'll use this one or that one, but that's like my all time favorite. I'm really hoping that when I get super tan in the summer, I can start using this bronzed one because right now I use it as an eyeshadow so I'm just gonna go in with that and go on my cheeks I kind of like to go like in the middle and then out towards the side then I go in and do some above the arch of my eyebrow so that when you turn it's like a nice little sheen my favorite highlights are kind of like the smaller highlights so I have a brush I specifically use for highlight it's this super tiny it cosmetics it's the number 220 if you care I go down the nose in like the thinnest line possible and then I'll go like on the tip then I go above the cupid's bow right there I go in the inner corner and I'm gonna save the brow one for after I kind of clean them up and do my eyeshadow. Okay, so now I just wanna fix up my eyebrows. This always happens when I do my face. Lately, I've been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Eye Pencil. This is different from the Anastasia one. Honestly, I've only had it for like a month tops and I feel like it lasts longer and it's easier to put on. It's like a little softer. They say it's waterproof. It's really not, but I mean, it, it helps with staying on I guess and I changed my color this is in the shade 5 I used to use like soft brown and even taupe at one point for my eyebrows but I really feel like the best eyebrow color for me now is like a dark brown and then just use it very lightly towards the front so it doesn't look too harsh I'm just gonna do that really quick because it takes me a while so I'll just come back when it's done okay so I just filled in my brows and since I've been using the Benefit eyebrow pencil I've been using the gel that comes with it. I've had this for a while now, but I just feel like they go together, so that's why I've been using it lately. This is in the shade 3, though. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry if you hear people outside mowing their grass and whatnot. They've been doing this all morning. I don't know when it's gonna stop. I didn't wanna wait for them to stop because the sunlight is like super good right now, so I'm sorry. Okay, so next we're gonna do eyeshadow. Now, honestly, eyeshadow is like the one thing I don't really pay attention to on a regular day. I usually like focus on my skin and eyebrows, and then as long as that's good, I'll go wherever I need to go. But um, when I do eyeshadow on a daily basis, it's always something very like warm and just like bronzy, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is doing this. I need Essentia. Not to be annoying, but Essentia is like the one drink I will buy except for kombucha and essentia is like my favorite water of all time i just wanted to say that it's so good if you try it it's literally the best water you'll ever have in your life i just wanted to talk about it because i love it not sponsored i just really love essentia all right anyway um okay so my everyday palettes there are three of them. Um, my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time, just for like natural, pretty makeup, is the Too Faced Natural Eyes. I just think it's really good. It's very neutral, but still bronzy. So that's what it looks like. Also, I've still been loving the Too Faced Chocolate Gold, but I haven't used it lately because everything in here is very shimmery and just party. Obviously, there's still some neutrals that I will use, but lately I've just been going back to matte, simple, natural, Natural looking makeup so for that I obviously recommend the modern renaissance it's so good so I'm just gonna go in with my urban decay eyeshadow primer potion and I'm just gonna put this all over the lid not too much but you know how it is now I'm gonna go in with my pressed powder obviously because I use it for freaking everything I'm just gonna go in over that to make sure it's not too like sticky because matte shadows will look kind of choppy if you put it over a sticky base. So I'm gonna go in with this fluffy shader type brush and basically go in with this color. It is called Golden Ochre and just doing that to add like a nice dimension. With a lot of my eyeshadows, I like to kind of go onto the lid too in the outer corner just to build like an overall smoke effect. Then I'm just gonna take it like under my eye and connect it. I always do this no matter what eyeshadow I'm using using like that so that already created like a soft kind of darker halo around my eye i'm gonna go in with a mix of raw sienna and burnt orange and basically deepen up the crease area and i'm also putting it on the outer corner and this one i'm not bringing as high up i'm kind of just keeping it in the actual crease of the eye i keep it pretty simple like i said so now basically what i'm gonna do for like an all over lid color is I'm gonna go into my Sun Dipped Glow Kit and I'm gonna use this color called Bronze and it is a highlighter, but like I said earlier, I do use it as an eyeshadow and I've been doing that a lot lately. I feel like it just looks so good. It works great as a good shimmery eyeshadow because it's so fine and soft that it doesn't really have fallout. So it's honestly just amazing. I'm just gonna go in with that and put it on the lid. This also kind of gives you like that dewy look it doesn't really look like a shimmery eyeshadow. It kind of just makes your eyelid look like wet. I know that's kind of weird, but it literally looks like you're just like glowing. And I like that because it's so much more natural than having like a metallic eyeshadow on your eye every day. I don't know, I just love the way this looks. What I'm gonna do next is just take the fluffy brush again with nothing else on it and go over that in the crease just to soften it. Nothing too much, just like a slight little sweep in there like that. Then I'm gonna take my highlighting brush again and go into summer and just clean up the inner corner highlight and connect it to that lid shade now for under the eye i do like to kind of like make it dramatic because i just think it makes my eyes look bigger that way so what i do is go in with this flat little dense brush and i'm gonna go into this color right here it's called cypress umber and what i'm gonna do is just kind of like very lightly line my bottom lash line just on like the outer part and i also kind of like sweep it up into almost like a cat eye then last for the bottom lash line i'm gonna go back in with the bronzed highlighter and just go like along the entire lash line so that it all comes together and i'm gonna try not to mess up what i just did so I'm literally bringing it like in here, then going out. One more time, just fixing the inner corner highlight, 
just so I can bring it in with that bronze color so that there's still some lightness under the eye. So now that we've done eyeshadow, I try to do eyeliner every day. Sometimes I won't, but usually I do. I hate doing eyeliner. It's really annoying and I usually mess it up, but I know that it looks better on me when I do it because I have small eyes and it makes them look bigger. I still haven't found a good eyeliner, but this is the Urban Decay Razor Sharp 24-7 one, just a black. I like it and it's good, but it's not matte. It's like a glossy finish and I hate that. So once this runs out, I'm gonna get a new eyeliner, but I mean, this is a good one. I just don't prefer the finish on it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back because I really don't wanna mess this up. So I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished the eyeliner and now we're gonna do eyelashes and I don't have my favorite eyelashes with me right now. I usually use the Ardell Foam mink ones but I don't have those right now I ruined them by accident so I have to buy new ones um so right now I just have regular Ardell ones and these are nicer in a way because they have a very like small band they're much more natural looking but also the actual hairs on them aren't so I don't know I really want eyelash extensions but those are a lot of money so no <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be fake today. So first, I'm just gonna go in with this Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I don't love it. I don't think I'm gonna buy it again. It's good, but I'm sure there are better ones out there that are less money than this. All right, so I finally finished doing that. It took forever. For lips, I usually don't wear lipstick every day. What I'll usually do is I'll go over my lips. I use this chapstick. It is the Candy Cane chapstick. I use it year round. It's just like my favorite thing ever. So I use like a little bit of that. I go in with Kylie's Kristen Matte Lipstick and I don't actually like put it on. I just do like little dots like that. And I'll take my finger and just like rub them in. I do this because it literally leaves behind like the slightest tint and then over that I'll either leave it like this or I'll put just like a little lip gloss just so that it looks more natural like that so the last thing I do is just spray a little bit of setting spray so I use the Urban Decay D slick it smells kind of disgusting but it works um, it's for people with oily skin. My skin hasn't been that oily since it's been cold out, but um, it still is a little bit. So I'm just gonna spray like a tiny bit on. Actually, a tiny bit, are you kidding me? Let's go. Oh yeah. Then the last thing I do just to kind of set my makeup and give it a more dewy, natural, like in your skin type look because I know it kind of looks a bit glam for every day. I just spray this um, Fix Plus again, the coconut one. It basically gives your skin like a nice finish and I find that when you spray it on, it makes any like highlight on your face so much more amplified. So let's just do that. This smells so good. All right, so that is how I do my everyday makeup when I do my makeup. This is not what I do literally every day, but this is what I do when I do my makeup. Just a nice, natural for me makeup look. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and let me know what you wanna see next time. I am very busy with school, but I just finished one of my classes, so I do have a bit more time now to make videos, so that's really exciting. But I'll talk to you guys next time and I'll see you later, bye.